sinipsip niya ang dibdib ko, tinanggal din niya ang pajama pants at brief niya na nanginginig na ang katawan ko sa takot at nakatitig lang ako sa kisame. Eh. Pinipigilan ko na lang ang mga luha ko dahil sobra akong nagulat at walang magawa. <clears throat> Pagkatapos ay tuluyan na akong pinagsamantala ni Apollo Kiboloy nung siya ay natapos na. Pumunta siya sa CR. Alleged sexual predator Apollo Kiboloy's supporters and trolls doxed Senate witness Amanda, calling her puk-puk, bogus, liar. Only a few hours following the explosive Senate investigation into the alleged sexual abuse cases and other criminal activities of Pastor Apollo Kibaloy, SMNI, a notorious pro Duterte media network, and online trolls have started doxing and trying to viral defamatory and salacious claims against the cult leader's accusers. The Senate Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations, and Gender Equality has launched an investigation into the alleged abuses attributed to Kibaloy, a close friend and political ally of Duterte. Despite being issued a subpoena on Tuesday, January 23, the leader of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, KOJC, was notably absent during the inquiry. Despite receiving an order from the National Telecommunications Commission NTC, to cease operations, Sunshine Media Network International SMNI, purportedly still under the technical ownership of Kibaloy, has actively engaged in defending the alleged cult leader across all its platforms, notably X, formerly Twitter. Most of SMNI's posts on X were defensive of Kibaloy, the latest being screenshots of netizens purportedly crying justice for their religious leader. Netizens cry hashtag justice for Pastor ACQ after bogus witnesses hurl malicious and baseless accusations. In a recent committee hearing of Senator Risa Hontiveros, read SMNI's latest post, lacking evidence to support the claim that the witnesses presented during the Senate investigation were indeed false. In one of SMNI's posts, Quibaloy is depicted challenging Senator Risa Hontiveros, the panel chair, and her, quote unquote, bogus witnesses to substantiate their allegations against him in court. Additionally, an SMNI post asserted that members of KOJC uncovered the true identity of the alleged witness against their religious leader. This is unsurprising, as numerous posts by troll accounts and other unverified accounts on X have attempted to dox the identity of one of the witnesses concealed under the alias Amanda. One of these pro kibaloy troll accounts that never posted an X but only replied to existing posts is KG Worldwide. KG Worldwide, which was recently reactivated, responded to a Rappler post, saying in reaction to Hontiveros, I find this woman not a senator anymore. She could just simply help those victims file cases in court if their allegations are real. So simple. This troll account also docks the identity of the Senate witness, claiming to be his classmate and that the latter is not innocent. KG Worldwide then posted supposed photos of Amanda saying, she cannot lie because we know her since she's our classmate. I find her so pathetic. It why she's doing this. One of the alleged photos of Amanda shows three half-naked women with the woman in the center to be the witness herself. KG Worldwide's reply alone was reposted 39 times as of this posting, with most of those retweeting it appearing to be pro Duterte and pro Kibaloy. One of those who reposted the reply tweet was a netizen named Hans Markin at Politikalsalat, saying, apparently, some users are reporting that alias Amanda, the woman who claimed to have been sexually assaulted by Kibaloy, is not who she claims to be. An ex-user, Aria the Unbreakable at Aria Noel Sai, joined the conversation claiming the Senate witness's credibility and authenticity is highly questionable. Aria the Unbreakable appeared to have stalked the Amanda online and based her judgment on the latter's Facebook posts way back 2013. Look at her account in 2013, she's a happy girl, not traumatized, she said. Another ex-user with the name Jack Diamond Julian also docks the witness posting her supposed real name on the platform and her photos. Another netizen and Kibaloy supporter also called the witness, Puck Puck, along with a screenshot of the story of a supposed classmate of the witness. Another ex-post of Aria the Unbreakable shows a screenshot of Amanda's Facebook profile photo and account, along with a photo if a minor child, doxing the witness. Doxing, which involves the unauthorized and malicious disclosure of private or personal information about individuals online, is generally considered illegal in the Philippines. It violates privacy laws and can lead to criminal and civil liabilities. 
The Data Privacy Act of 2012 in the Philippines safeguards the personal information of individuals and imposes penalties for unauthorized processing or disclosure of sensitive personal information. Republic Act No. 10175, known as the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, criminalizes certain cyber offenses and doxing may fall under the provisions related to unauthorized access to or interference in computer systems. Perpetrators of doxing may face legal consequences, including imprisonment and fines, depending on the severity of the offense. At this point, uh, Ms. Amanda, may ipapakita po akong video. Panoorin po natin. Mag-ihingat kayo ngayon. Kayo, mag-ihingat kayo ngayon. Kayo yung nasa Facebook, nasa internet, nasira ng sira sa aking pangalan. Hindi ko na kayo papayagan. Sino man kayong grupo kayo, hahabulin ko kayo. Meron akong maraming kaibigan dyan sa NBI na pwede kayong tuntunin. Sige pa, pasimula na tayo. Gera ang gusto nyo, gera tayo. Spiritual battle gusto nyo, ganun ang gusto nyo. Hindi nyo gusto ng kabutihan, niloloko pa rin nyo. Nilay down ko ang kabutihan sa inyo, tapos nag-take advantage kayo mga pobre kayo. Mga prostitute kayo. Ikaw ba yung pinatutungkulan dito sa video na ito, uh, Miss Amanda? Tinawag kayong pobre, prostitute. Ganito ba yung kanilang uh, pananalita sa mga tumitiwalag sa kanya? Opo, ganyan po. Mas lalo na po sa mga pastoral. Uh, sa mga pastoral na tumitiwalag. At ikaw ba mismo ang pinatutungkulan niya sa video na yan? Opo. Uh, at ginantihan ka nga ba ni Kiboloy? Uh, Nag-file ba ng kaso, laban sa'yo? O yung ibang mga miyembro ng pamilya mo, eh, mayroon bang ginawa rin sa kanila? Uh, opo, at pending pa po yung cyber libel na kinaso po nila sa'kin. Kinasuhan ka ng cyber libel? Opo. Okay.